What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me again this week. Today I want to talk about index hints and the problems with using them. Normally, SQL Server gets to decide how it gets the data for you. You just type in your query what results you want to get and SQL Server behind the scenes figures out what's the best way of getting that data. You have no control over which index SQL Server decides to use, except unless you use an index hint. An index hint does exactly what it sounds like. You're hinting at SQL Server to, hey, use this index instead of using whichever one you come up with on your own. And I love using index hints, especially when debugging, because it allows me to see how is SQL Server going to retrieve this data if it were to use this other index instead? Basically, it lets me see what a query plan is going to look like uh, if a different index was, was used without having to rewrite my actual code. And while index hints are great for the short-term you know, debugging processes that you might be doing, they're generally really bad to put into long-term production code. Let me give you an example. Here, I have an index which has one key column and several included columns. For one reason or another, I decide to force that index by using a hint. This may work great in the short term, but imagine that either me or someone else adds another index to this table, you know, long term. Let's pretend this other index is actually better, right? It has fewer columns and is smaller in size, meaning SQL Server would have to read less of it into memory to get the data that it needs if that index hint wasn't being used. However, because we're forcing that old index with all the columns included in it, uh, the query is not as efficient as it could be uh, because it could have otherwise used this newer index with fewer columns and we would have had fewer reads. And this is just one example of how an index hint might negatively impact a query down the road. Right? In this example, it was just the difference between one index being more data dense than the other, so the number of logical reads was different. Index hints can actually make things a lot worse than that, causing query plans to be totally out of whack, you know, uh, with index scans happening instead of key lookups, or key lookups happening instead of index scans. It could just wreak havoc on the performance of your queries. So while index hints are great for debugging and performance tuning, there's not a lot of benefit to them long term, and honestly, you'll probably end up negatively impacting your queries more than helping them if you keep them in production code. Maybe you need to just rewrite your query, refactor it. Maybe you need to fix the statistics on your indexes because they're out of whack, something didn't get updated. Uh, maybe they're not being maintained. Uh, but point is, right, fixing the root cause is always gonna have a better long-term impact than forcing a query plan by using an index hint. So thanks for watching this week and I'll see you next time.